Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I'll be showing how to use classes in Godot 4. To get started, I just have an empty script here, and to create a class, we could type class name, then we can call it something like animal. So we want an animals class. We want the animal to have a couple variables, so let's do its health, so the to 100. And we also want the animal name. And we'll set that to a string. And obviously your class doesn't need to be an animal. It could be any type of thing you want. And it can have any variables you want. So the advantage of this now is we can create a new script or a new node. We'll just do a node 2D. And this could be our cow. And we'll add a script to our cow. And if we, instead of extending node 2D, we extend animal. We can now actually reference the variables inside the animal class. So we can go ahead and print our health and we'll press play and here we have our health and this health is actually this cow's own health it is not this script's health variable this cow can inherit that and create its own health variable this can be demonstrated by creating a new cow and we'll go ahead and set the animal name to the name of the node so it'll be cow and cow2 let's go ahead and print that out so this will run on both cows However, you can see they are individual variables. We can also create variables on the actual cow node. So we'll just do something like hunger, set that to 15. And now only cows will have the hunger node. We can also create a new class, class name. It will be a cow and it can still inherit from animal. And now we can have stuff inherit from cow. And we can have different types of animals. Let's go and create a, another node. This can be a Let's say a dog, create this, and this can extend animal. And now we have access to all the same variables, except for the hunger variable, which we made in the cow. We are also not limited to two variables. We can create functions as well. So we can create a function. Let's call it print data. And in there, let's first print out the animal name and also the health. And now we can call these functions on the animals. So instead of doing print animal name, We'll just do print data and you'll see we get both. Now let's say we want to call this function on all the nodes. However, we want it to run slightly differently on some of them. For instance, in the dog, we want to print data. Let's say we have a variable. It'll be our color and we'll set it to orange. And now we can go ahead and create an override function called print data and we can print the color. So now this function will no longer call the one from main, it will call the one from inside the dog, as you can see here. Well, let's say you still want to print out the animal name and the health inside of the print data function, but you want to also print out the color. Well, you can still do the override this way. Simply add super dot print data. This will reference the animals print data function. Now, if you press play, you'll see here we get our dog along with its color and its health. And for this entire time, I have had these nodes be a child of this class node. However, that doesn't need to happen. If we go ahead and create a new scene, 2D scene, let's do a pig node, add a script, and we go ahead and extend animal. It will work just fine. We can set the animal name to, let's do pig. And now we can print data. And if we run this local scene, and save it, you'll see it'll run pig. Anyways guys, I hope you found this story helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.